Hello, friends, and welcome to our Psalm 23 little Bible study. My name is Ryan Schmidt, and I am with Traditions Health Hospice. If you have memorized Psalm 23, I invite you to quote along with me here today. Let's do this. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his namesake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm 23 is a picture for us using the beautiful connection between a shepherd and his sheep, letting us know that God is always with us and watching over us, even in times when we struggle with finding hope in a moment of uncertainty. Well, today we're looking at Psalm 23, verse 3, and that scripture focuses in on this idea of finding hope in God in all things. It says, He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. There are times in the psalmist's life when he had trouble and struggles trusting and hoping and finding connection with God. And in those times, he would speak to himself. He would speak to his mind. He would speak to his heart. He would speak even to his spirit. Things like this. Psalm 42, verse 11 says, Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God. There are those times when we need to be reminded that we can hope in God and trust that God is still there for us, even though we might not always hear or see or feel that God is nearby, but we know that God is always with us, never leaves us or forsakes us. This scripture, he restores my soul. The idea of restoration is to return to something, to go back, to reestablish. When I think about return, go back, reestablish, I think of the old PBS show called This Old House and the idea of remodeling, of bringing the beauty, the shine, the, the radiance back into a place that we call home. And there are those times in our lives where we need that restoration. We need God to restore us, who we are from the inside out. This is a passage that reminds us that God restores our soul. Can you think of a time in your life when God brought restoration? God brought you back. God reestablished something for you and in you that was precious and beautiful and that was important to you to restore. When I was about five years old, my parents bought a hundred year old home and it was an ongoing project. Labor Day weekends, all my growing up years, we weren't out at the lake enjoying a picnic. We were at home laboring on Labor Day, uh, doing the remodeling of this, this beautiful old home. So many good memories of working with my dad and my mom and siblings growing up, restoring an old house to a place where it once had been. God does that for us in our lives. There are times when we need to be restored. The scripture says, he restores my soul. There are those who have studied and can show us in the scriptures what it looks like for us to have a soul and what that soul is a part of. Our soul is a part of our body and our spirit. There's this overlapping of, of who we are and the expression of what is most important to us and how we're doing as a child of God in our lives. The body, the soul, and the spirit is what comprises who we are as children of God. The soul is a part of who we are, and we can describe the soul as our minds, so our thoughts, 
our will, I am going to go in this direction and do this or do that. And then our emotions, how we feel, and what's taking place in our heart realm. The soul is our mind, our will, and our emotions. I love the idea of there being this restoration. That God restores our soul. That God brings us back to a place where we are at peace again. The things that would take us away from a healthy mind, a healthy will, and healthy emotions. God is there to meet us and to bring that restoration. He restores our soul and he leads us in a path of righteousness for his name's sake. The word righteous just simply means right with. God is right with us, leading us and guiding us every step along the way. As we take one step after another, we can trust that God is taking the step right before us, testing out the ground to make sure that we'll have sure footing. That idea of our righteous path is not a path that is alone or we have to figure out by ourselves, but it is a path that God is right with us and God is leading us on that path. Quote the verse for me one more time. Psalm 23 verse 3 says, He restores my soul. He leadeth me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. In those times in our life when we are following God and we're trusting that we are right with God, God is walking beside us and guiding us, all that is left to do is to say thank you to God's powerful and beautiful, majestic name, a name that is above all names that the scripture tells us one day will be worshiped and praised by all. Today, may each of us be reminded that God is restoring our soul, this ongoing work and process that David said is what is happening in his life and he saw that as a shepherd he would care for the soul and the restoration and also lead in paths for the sheep's good ultimately always good may each of us know the good of goodness of god in the path that we are on today thanks so much for joining us today look forward to seeing you next time until then may god bless you and keep you give you a song in your heart and a smile on your face bye bye for now